30,000 planes carrying around 1 million passengers crisscross Europe's skies every day. The routes they use are complicated. Some are one way and they change frequently. They interweave like spaghetti junctions. As if that was not enough, Europe also has variable weather patterns, which makes flying even more complex. Eurocontrol has developed a central flow management unit, whose job is to plan and monitor air traffic flows 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and to try to prevent traffic jams in the sky. Flow management is essential in air traffic for a very simple reason, it's a question of safety. Let's imagine you will leave all aircraft to arrive when they want. In the airspace it could create, you know, congestion that could be extremely dangerous. At the beginning, states have decided to organize and to create regional units, but rapidly it appeared that this regional unit did not work. So everybody realized that this time that it was necessary to have one single unit in order to have a full view of all the open airspace situation in order to ensure the balance between all the demand and the available capacity in Europe. So the reason, one single unit. Today, any airline that wants to fly in European airspace has to send its flight plan to Eurocontrol, where it's checked and then sent out to all air traffic controllers affected by the flight. Eurocontrol's Central Flow Management Unit, or CFMU, looks at the number of aircraft that are planned to fly at any given moment and balances that with what each air traffic controller can safely handle. Big events like the Olympics or the Football World Cup, or even the winter ski season, put further pressure on the air traffic control system. Eurocontrol has a role to play, working with the various national authorities to optimize the use of their air traffic control resources and handle all the flights that will be arriving. So Eurocontrol constantly monitors what's going on to ensure that if something untoward happens, it can immediately delay, suspend or reroute flights. What we're looking at here is the flow management situation today. In CFMU, our role is to balance the demand, the planned flights, against the air traffic control capacity. And we do that together with the air navigation service providers, the air traffic control centers, and the aircraft operators in trying to find uh, extra capacity, in trying to find reroute solutions. But in the end, if that is not enough, in order to avoid a situation with more flights in a sector than the air traffic controller can safely handle, we sometimes have to delay flights on ground planned to go through that sector. There's always some kind of crisis going on in Europe every day. There could be small crises like today, where the worst air traffic flow management situation in delay minutes today is arrivals to Rome airport, where there are very strong winds, which brings down the capacity. The total delay predicted for this day is 46,165 minutes. That may sound a lot, and it is a lot in money terms, but when we divide that with the number of flights today, close to 28,000, we see that the average delay per flight in Europe today is 1.7 minutes, and that is actually below the yearly average of last year, which was 1.9 minutes, so actually it is a good day today. Behind the peace and quiet of this room, massive amounts of data are processed every hour, every minute, every second, while the operational team's accumulated massive experience allows everyone to focus on keeping traffic moving smoothly and safely. The main success of CFMU is for us to, to have been able to work in full cooperation in full understanding with all the stakeholders in order to chase the delays and to offer better routes, better options to all the airlines. Future challenges are to squeeze the best of the available capacity in full collaboration with all the actors, 
to increase and consolidate our role in crisis management, in, uh, in security issues, and to be involved progressively more and more in environment mm. for reduction of uh, emission CO2. And here I think the CFMU in this uh, collective approach, we all the stakeholders will have a key role to play in the future. Since its entry into operation, the CFMU has proven its benefits to all users. One of the main performance indicators for the CFMU is the average delay time per flight. Since CFMU began service in 1995, although traffic has increased by 30%, delays have decreased by 35%. The central flow management unit is not just the story of a well-designed system. It is more a story of people. People working together. CFMU operators, airlines, air traffic control centers, all collaborating in a network of mutual confidence to sustain and surpass their level of performance. Present success is not a guarantee of any kind. For the CFMU, a new challenge starts with every new day and will start again with every new tomorrow. <laughs>